All right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. It looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchanges. What a punch. These guys throwing early. Well, as a lot of people have said, he did not want to stand on a napkin and trade in the center of the octagon with this opponent. As such, clinches here early. He's a very smart fighter. He's very safe. And in the clinch, he understands that he's not in any danger because he's so good when he's in a clinch. Right hand punch to the clinch. Oh, he's keeping busy here in the clinch. Knee to the body. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, big shot land. Oh, collar tie. Went for the inside leg kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. This is his game. He likes to control his opponent's posture with that collar tie and land those nice elbows around the bar. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Habib lands early, and he lands off it. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Tags him with the uppercut. Straight right is there. Here's the kick blocked by Nermago Medov. There's no tell on that leg kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Nice kick. And he lands a big left hand there. Oh, straight right. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nermago Medov. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Not much behind the takedown offering there. Body closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. All right, so once again, they will clinch, and we will see which fighter is able to advance their position. For him. Who's going to be the first one to attempt the takedown? Both of our combatants have the ability to score and secure the position. Who's going to be the one that makes the first move? Ooh. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and they separate. Great punch. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Real sneaky body kick. Nurmago Medov gets caught with that punch. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. 20 seconds left. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Good punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, that
That is a nasty inside leg kick, you see. It is a great technique, but it only takes one time to check it. Right. And your night can be over. Or you can end up like Anderson Silva. Be careful. Got an issue. Here's a tissue. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after a gun to blaze it. Both of these gentlemen are trying to find the right moment to attack. Nice head kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes off. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Got the single collar tie. Punch coming, it's blocked. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Don't finish this fight. Oh, single collar tie here. Right hand punch to Clint. Oh, you go here. Nice transition from the underhook into the single leg to get a massive takedown. And those slams really go a long way with the judges. Huge authority behind that takedown there. Well, Ben Saunders and the Muay Thai practitioners out there would be proud. Volume knees to the body here in the clutch. D after D after D. They're all landing, so keep on going. Big power shot there. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Nice kick. Just over three minutes to go. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Right hand punch from the clinch. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. And he caught the kick. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Ooh, head kick Lance was hurt. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Caught that kick there. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, single collar tie now. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Block that strike. <laughs> Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Well, you gotta think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking clip. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. 
got him whip his hip into that kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Big kick land. Great kicks there. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximize those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happened. Very skilled, very good match fighter coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does this going to the next one. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Oh, and the ankle pick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah, no pity pass to this guy. This guy's trying to land, and he's trying to land effective strikes. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's going to be. Wild swing there. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Good punch, land. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And they separate. Nice hook by him there. Not necessarily with full power, but certainly found the desired target. He's throwing those shots to damage your opponent and set up another shot down the middle. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Punch over the top. Well, you start to really worry about the wrestling, and there's that left hand from Cubby. Underrated. I mean, it's a very underrated part of his game, his ability to stand his strike with anybody in the UFC. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Magomedov gets the tie clinch here. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Big kick lands. 
Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Beautiful leg kick throw. Just misses with a left hook there. Another big leg kick land. Nice right hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Right punches there. You take more of these leg kicks, you would not be able to be very active on your feet. Over and over, he's fighting behind these beautiful leg kicks. Timing his shots nicely here, Jim. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Just a slip there. Left hand punch. Both place. fighters throwing heat now. Switching stances here. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? 20 seconds left. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Final seconds. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that dude. What a round it was for him. A lot of head kicks landed. Scrambled eggs on the other side. We'll see if he can recover. He does a great job of hiding it. He gives you no tell. He doesn't show you when he's coming. That's why those kicks have continued to land, even though he's done it multiple times. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their toll. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big kick land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Single collar tie now. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. It's the elbow there. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. It's messed up really bad. Huge knee lands for the clinch. Beautiful punch. Oh, he's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Nermont Gomez. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Mago Medov gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Punch is blocked. Beautiful strike. Level change, the leg, finish the takedown. Great job. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape, or maybe look for a Kimura here. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Nermont Gometa. Got clipped with the right hand. Well, you know he's comfortable fighting off his back. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Nurmagomedov gets back up, back into his comfort zone. 
Liver kick. Nice loop and punch. Oh, collar tie. Oh, he eats a knee. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plan. Try to establish that jab. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. <laughs> 30 seconds now to go in the round. And now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look for him to transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel. Getting tighter. Oh, and he chokes him to sleep with the arm triangle. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it pushes you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did that. That's why you gotta have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennis, my encyclopedia. Oh my God. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 50 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Habib Habib All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was very tough fight. But he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to finally finish by submission tonight. He did just that.